Thank you. Please be seated. Good afternoon. Today I'd like to welcome the graduates, our distinguished faculty, and the colleagues to the pinning and commencement celebration for the fall 2020 and winter 2021 classes of Hondros College of Nursing. I'm Scott Stiver, Campus Executive Director at the Fairborn Campus. Many of you may remember that in new student orientation, I tell the class it is rare a year passes without obstacles that will that will, you will have to overcome. And nursing school has plenty of obstacles, as does life. How you ad adapt and navigate those obstacles will determine your success. You will always remember your graduation. The last 12 months of your program took place during the first pandemic in over 100 years. You had to navigate obstacles no students before you have experienced. Yet you were still able to overcome, survive, and advance while achieving your goal. Obstacles aside, one thing students rarely consider is the friendships they will develop over the course of a year. Many of you have built lifelong friendships forged through the fires of nursing school. When asked the question, why nursing? Students give different answers but all have the same common goal, helping others and serving your communities. We realize what an inspiring group of special people you are and what great nurses you will be. Graduation marks a new chapter in your life story. Let us celebrate your success and your accomplishments. Congratulations. I'd now like to introduce the commencement speaker for today. The speaker became interested in nursing after becoming a mother and seeing the joy and expressions of fulfillment from the nurses on the obstetric <laughs> uh, unit while fulfilling their duties. She too wanted that joy and fulfillment. Professor Jobson graduated from Sinclair Community College in 2000. She worked as a full-time nurse on the medical surgical unit for many years. She also floated to other units within the hospital and developed many positive relationships along the way. She eventually took a part-time case manager and supervisor position and was the recipient of the Wright State University Campus of Caring Award during the time she worked in the hospital. After receiving her BSN from Indiana Wesleyan University, she was encouraged by her nursing instructors to become a nursing instructor due to her patience and care. She was hired at Hondros College of Nursing in 2011. She then received her master's in nursing education in 2016 from Aspen University. Elizabeth has taught numerous courses while at the college and is currently the instructor for the PN Capstone course and the AD Critical Thinking course. I'd like to welcome Professor Elizabeth Jobson. Oh, what a wonderful day. Look at you. You got a cap on your head. You got a gown over your fancy outfit and you're about to receive a Hondros nursing pin and diploma. Mm, yes, yes. Because your future is nursing. You know what I want you to do? This won't be a surprise. I want you to think, <laughs> specifically reflect. So reflect back on that day that you even considered in enrolling in nursing college. Ooh, if you were like me, you wondered what this experience is going to be. Because nobody knows what nursing school is except those who have already experienced it. And when a nurse finds out that a student graduated nursing college, their respect for that graduate soars because we understand all that that entailed. You're sitting here because you persisted during the difficult, challenging days Checkoffs, head to toe checkoffs, 
You might giggle at that now, but I recall when you were trembling <laughs> and you had assignment, challenging assignments. I think I've heard some of you say, I'll never finish my EAQs. <laughs> and yet you did. And then test, but there was nothing like that heffy. And every one of you have passed it. Yes, yes, yes on you. Because you kept before you the goal of what you plan to do in the future with your nursing license. You, like we did, pictured yourself in a nursing setting, taking on a nursing role and making a difference in people's lives and in the community as a whole. Now where you go and what you do with all this knowledge and skills that you've acquired. Some of you will buddy up and apply for positions with a friend. Others will go off in different directions. There's so many choices that you have, and it's up to you the direction that you'll go. You like labor and delivery, maybe med surge. You could be in management. You could get your doctorate and go into research. There is no limit to what you can do in nursing. So you may always work in the current community where you, you are right now, or you can take your license and travel to distant countries and you'll be welcomed. Now as fellow nurses, your instructors can promise you this, that whichever direction you choose, it will be more rewarding than you can imagine right now. It will push you to your limits. It will make you grow to be your best self. Nursing will bring out the best in you, and you in turn can advance the profession of nursing to be what it can be. You will be transformed by practicing nursing, and nursing will be improved by having you practice. You're entering a profession. Compared with other professions, it's rather recently developed, one that has continuously been improving since that first St. Thomas training school for nurses opened in 1860 when nursing was first established formally as a profession. Florence Nightingale, who was a well-educated woman in a time when few women had higher learning opportunities, she took a service for hire job which was menial and not respected and she lifted it to the noble profession that it is now not only in our society, but around the world. Nightingale had a fire in her mind and heart. And with that, she ignited an experience in her nursing students that created a desire to take her theory of care and elevate it. And since then, nursing has continued to grow and advance further than Nightingale would have been able to imagine. The curriculum that Nightingale created consisted of five seemingly simple and yet essential concepts. Pure air, pure water, efficient drainage, cleanliness, and light. And these are points in improving the quality of health by altering the environment of the patient. Compare those with the 54 concepts that your Giddens textbook has. And you can see the foundation is very similar. Can you see the beginning of oxygenation and gas exchange that you've learned? Can you see fluids and electrolytes, thermal regulation, immunity and infection? If she had the opportunity, very likely Nightingale would have agreed with Giddens and Tanner and Benner. They came after her and figuratively, they sat and learned at her feet as we have learned at Tanner's and Benner's. But they didn't stop at formal education. They didn't end at application or even analyzing information. They continued creating new methods of nursing care. And you and we are benefiting from other, what other nurses have developed, the safety devices on syringes, simple and complex and abstract theories on how to care for patients, and you'll hear more about that in your BSN program. Those authors and editors' pictures that you see in the front of your textbooks, before they all brought new and creative ideas and methods to the advancement of nursing, 
and wrote it down to pass it on to us, they experience a wonderful day like you are right now, that you're having. They had the experience of the first time that they wore a nursing pin and received a higher nursing diploma. After they entered into practice, they weren't satisfied with the current methods. There are nurses who are practicing during this pandemic who are not satisfied with the status quo. They're envisioning a better way to give care during times like this. And they're using their mind and their heart and all their energy to advance the nursing profession. You will find yourself in situations when something occurs to you, a better idea. It might not be a world-changing idea, such as taking a humble, temporary set of tasks and developing it into a noble, intelligent profession, but you can advance what Nightingale began, one step at a time. And I have seen and heard some of you and thought, there are change makers among us. Perhaps there's a seed or even a bud of an idea in your mind already. Don't be shy to speak up. Don't hesitate to step up. And as one generation passes the knowledge that they've gained to the next, and that generation improves it and passes it on, our world becomes a better place. So let it be a flag to you when you see something that could be improved, it's your duty to put forth effort to make it better. We know that you have it in you because you were bold enough to enroll and complete a challenging nursing program. Now we as nurses and instructors have seen nurses taking the profession of intelligent, compassionate care further than what they learned in nursing school. Your faculty and all the staff at Hondros and your family and friends who've supported you through this phase of your nursing school journey respect you as a successful graduate. And we look forward to watching you uphold the profession and bring advances to nursing care because you are the future of nursing. Thank you. I would now like to welcome Diana Tabern, Campus Dean and Director of Nursing, for the presentation of awards. I'm going to take my mask off because I'm doing good to breathe. Uh, that's a hard act to follow. I said Professor Jobson did an excellent job. That was an excellent speech. Okay, as the academic year comes to a close, the faculty at each campus are asked to look at the graduating class and determine the recipients for each of the following awards. I am very honored at this time to represent the faculty of the Fairborn campus as we recognize the outstanding efforts of our students. When your name is called, please stand and be recognized. As Scott Stiver mentioned, you will receive your award when you pick up your um, diplomas. Clinical achievement. This individual excels in clinical skills and reasoning, has an excellent bedside manner, and is motivated to excel in nursing. The student communicates well with others. He or she is caring and a patient advocate above all else. The student performs as a strong team player, works well with their peers, and conducts themselves in a professional manner. At this time, we would like to recognize in the, for the PM program, Shelly Sparks. <laughs> Christina Welch. <laughs> Leah Borland. <laughs> and Christine Varner. For the RM program, Balu Jabi and Chelsea Reed. The Nightingale Award. This individual has been an overall excellent student, both in the classroom and in the clinical. 
The student has been a team player that has worked toward the good of the class and the school. He or she portrays themselves in a professional manner, and this student exemplifies as the essence of a Hondros nurse. At this time, we would like to recognize for the PM program, Crystal Hubs, <laughs> Stephanie Rapich, Brandy Christofferson, and Jody Lau. For the RN program, Hunter Stahl, and Emily Cheney. The Hondros Rising Star Award. This award is given to a student who demonstrates qualities of tenacity, persistence, and flexibility in the pursuit of a degree while tirelessly working to learn and take on the qualities essential to being a professional nurse. We would like to recognize for the PM program, Aaron Shaw, <laughs> Courtney DeWitt, <laughs> Rebecca Smith, and Christine Varner. For the RN program, Rebecca Thompson and Melissa Kirby. Excellence in Simulation Award. Simulation Award is an educational process. Simulation is an educational process that replicate, replicates clinical practice in a safe environment. It is an instructional strategy that enhances patient safety and optimizes outcomes while allowing students to practice critical thinking and clinical decision making using mannequins in a controlled environment. The students can make mistakes, learn from them, and try again. While all it is essential, while all is essential that all students are involved, sometimes there are students who excel in taking charge in scenarios and in participation. Therefore, this award is based on student excellence and participation in laboratory simulation. For the PN program, Crystal Hubs, <laughs> Teresa Jordan, <laughs> Heather Jester, <laughs> and Kelly Beck. For the RN program, Rakita Heisel and Samantha King. The Scholarship Award. This award is, is for being an outstanding clinical nurse and possessing the highest grade point average. At this time, we would like to recognize for the PM program, Shelly Sparks. Christina Welch, <laughs> Leah Borland, <laughs> and Jody Lowe. For the RM program, Rebecca Clements, <laughs> and Emily Cheney. <laughs> Thank you. So this time I would like to welcome Assistant Director of Nursing, Michelle Jackson, to read the history of pinning. The School of Nursing Pen is a distinctive mark, rich in history and meaning. It can be traced to heraldry, which is the system of devising and granting insignia for coat of arms. The pinning ceremony is a time-honored nursing school tradition dating back to 1855 when Florence Nightingale was awarded a brooch by England's Queen Victoria for her efforts in the Crimean War. It signifies the integrity and tradition of badges worn by the early healers and crusaders of care. Over the course of time, the pinning ceremony has evolved and for most, 
marks the passage from that of student nurse role to the practice role. And for some, the attainment of advanced education. Each school adopts their symbol or pen to indicate the excellent nursing educational program the graduate came from. In the penny ceremony performed today, each graduate will receive a pen that proudly displays Hondros College. Regardless of where your careers in nursing take you, the pen will represent where you earned your professional experience. It signifies the acceptance of the responsibilities of the practice of nursing and the educational preparation of the wearer. The wearing of the nursing pin is a source of pride. It symbolizes the right to serve others and the privilege earned by the graduates of this program. And now for the reading of our graduate, Campus Executive Director, Scott Stolbe. Senior Vice President of the AD program, Dean Kramer, the reg and the Registrar have certified that each candidate presented on the official graduation list has completed all the requirements for the appropriate diplomas and degrees, and the degrees may be conferred. Dr. Tanya Lawson will confer those degrees. So would the candidates for the associate degree program please rise. Now by the virtue of the authority vested by Honduras College of Nursing, I now confer upon each and every one of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to invite the associate degree in nursing candidates for graduation to please come forward. Baloo Javi, penned by Professor Erica Lucas. <laughs> Rebecca Williams, penned by Professor Sharon Kazee a 65-year-old lung cancer survivor. Rakita, Ricky Hiles, penned by Professor Erica Lucas. <laughs> Sasha Yanez Alonzo, penned by Professor Julie Oaks. Neil Turner, penned by Professor Sarah McClurg. <laughs> Danny May, penned by Professor Diane Taburn.
Megan Bryan, penned by Professor Erica Lucas. Kim Emery, penned by Professor Sarah McClurg. <laughs> Casey Brewer, penned by Professor Sarah McClurg. Chelsea Reed, penned by Professor Rose White. Danielle Hampton, penned by Professor Melanie Parker. Elizabeth Skaggs, penned by Professor Julie Oakes. Tiffany Pauley, penned by Professor Colleen Smith. Mercedes Hill, penned by Professor Michelle Jackson. Heather Leanne Williams, penned by Professor Julie Oakes. Samantha King, penned by Professor Erica Lucas. Caitlin Shook, penned by Professor Michelle Jackson. Megan Nevin, penned by Professor Julie Oakes.
Emily Cheney, penned by Professor Julie Oakes. Cassandra Tanner, penned by Professor Julie Oakes. Erica Harper, penned by Professor Julie Oates. A round of applause for the ABM program graduates. You may be seated. The Senior Vice President of the PM program, Tanya Lawson, and the Registrar have certified that each candidate presented on the official graduation list has completed all the requirements for the appropriate diplomas and degrees and the degrees may be conferred. Dr. Lawson. Would the PN candidates please rise? Now by virtue of the authority vested by Honduras College of Nursing, I now confer upon each and every one of you your respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. At this time, I would like the candidates for practical nursing program, please come to the stage. Haley Williams, penned by Professor Chantel Euchert. <laughs> Jennifer Johnson, penned by Professor Colleen Smith. Heather Jester, penned by Professor Bishop. <laughs> Jennifer Robinson, penned by Professor Colleen Smith.
Crystal S. Hubs, penned by Professor Colleen Smith. Mika Jones, penned by Professor Sharon Kazee. <laughs> Brandy Christofferson, penned by Professor Colleen Smith. Heather Collinsworth, penned by Professor Michelle Jackson. <laughs> Leah Borland, penned by Professor Colleen Smith. Nakia Guyton, penned by Professor Bishop. Aaron Shaw, penned by Professor Connie Champ. Kayla Barnes, penned by Professor Colleen Smith. <laughs> Rebecca Smith, penned by Professor Chantel Euchert. Tiara Moore, pinned by Tiara Moore, pinned by Professor Colleen Smith. Jennifer Scacia, pen Siaka, penned by Professor Rose White.
Danielle Stockman, penned by Professor Yolanda Kelly. Jody Lowe, penned by Professor Yolanda Kelly. Kimberly A. Harrison, penned by Professor Connie Champ. Chastity Langdon, penned by Professor Yolanda Kelly. Kristen Marie Varner, penned by Professor Yolanda Kelly. <laughs> Kelly Beck and Barry penned by Professor Sullivan. Jackie Sullivan. I would also like to recognize a classmate that, uh, due to an unfortunate death, was unable to make it to graduation. So, round of applause for Chelsea Ballman, please. <laughs> PN graduates, you may be seated. I would now like to welcome Director of Nursing, Diana Taborn, for the turning of the tassel. Graduates, please rise as it is now time to take place in the turning of the, 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 the tassels. <laughs> the turning of the tassel symbolizes your transition from candidate to graduate. Please move your tassel from the right Side to the left. Woo! Woo now please remain standing for the nursing pledge. It's on the front of your program. Are you guys coming up here? You're gonna stand there, okay. Come on, you guys. You're not coming over here for me, okay. Light, and please light your candles, I'm sorry. Forgot about that. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. 
I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will assist the physician in his work and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take care care of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill wherever they may be and whenever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. All right. Okay, you can turn off your candles and just put them under your seat. And you can't keep them. Congratulations, you are the newest Hondros College of Nursing graduates. Please join me in applauding all of your friends and family who have supported you through the journey. <laughs> Awards will be available after the ceremony. Enjoy the celebration and have a safe drive home.